introducing the all-new 2024 Toyota Tacoma redesigned, a truck that has revolutionized the world as we know it. It's not just a truck, it's a marvel on wheels, an absurdly audacious innovation that defies all expectations. Toyota is unleashing a beast of a pickup truck onto the scene, the all-new, jaw-dropping Toyota Tacoma 2024. This bad boy isn't just your ordinary, run-of-the-mill truck. It's here to revolutionize the game with its cutting-edge technology and clean energy prowess. Brace yourselves, because we're talking about an all-electric pickup truck that's about to make heads turn and jaws drop. Now, let's give credit where credit is due. The Toyota Tacoma has been roaming the streets of the pickup truck world for quite some time. It's the OG of mid-sized trucks in the US, and it's not afraid to show off its sales prowess. In fact, it dominated the market in 2022, selling a mind-boggling 237,000 units. Clearly, folks can't resist the allure of the Tacoma. But hey, even legends have their flaws, right? Toyota knows this too well. So, with all the buzz surrounding electric pickup trucks from rival companies, it's time for Toyota to step up its game and show everyone who's boss. With the Tacoma 2024, they're taking their reputation to new heights and addressing those shortcomings head on. And let's be real, Toyota loves a good redesign, and their track record proves it. Just look at the Toyota Tundra's makeover. It was a hit, and everyone loved it. But let's focus on the Tacoma, shall we? This baby has been around since 1995, and it's gone through quite the evolution. Starting off as a compact pickup truck for city dwellers, it eventually morphed into a mid-sized pickup truck, and it's been dominating the market ever since. Now, with all the electric vehicle hype, Toyota's jumping on the bandwagon and introducing an all-electric Tacoma. They might be a little late to the party, but better late than never, right? So, what can we expect from this new and improved Tacoma? Well, we don't have all the juicy deets just yet, but we know one thing for sure, it's going to be a game changer. You see, the current Tacoma has been hanging around for so long, it's practically a historical artifact. But fear not, Toyota has finally realized it's time for a revamp. Picture this, a sleek, streamlined exterior design that'll make other trucks jealous. Gone are the days of looking like a relic from the past, and that's just the beginning. Prepare for a real suspension that's so advanced it'll feel like riding on a cloud. No more bumps and jolts, this baby will glide smoothly over any terrain. But wait, there's more! Toyota has cooked up a brand new body-on-frame platform that'll blow your mind. It's like they took the old one and gave it a magical makeover. This new platform will make the Tacoma more versatile than ever before. Now, let's talk power. The current Tacoma's transmission options are about as exciting as watching paint dry. Seriously, five or six speed manuals? That's so yesterday. But fear not, my friends, because Toyota has a secret weapon up its sleeve. Remember the Supra? Well, they've got this amazing new transmission that's simply out of this world. And guess what? There's a good chance the new Tacoma will get to enjoy this marvelous creation too. But here's the thing. Toyota might surprise us and decide to ditch the manual transmission altogether. It's their call after all. They hold the power to make the Tacoma even more epic and leave us longing for that good old stick shift. Only time will tell. And what about transmission? Well, we suspect that the manual suspension might be going extinct in the 2024 Tacoma. Toyota might just throw us a bone and keep the manual transmission in the TRD trim level. Why? Well, apparently, making manual shifts is becoming a lost art in the truck world. Now, when it comes to the pickup truck experience, we all want the best of both worlds, compact comfort and rugged performance. It's like finding the perfect balance between sipping champagne in the city and conquering off-road adventures. And you know what that means. A sturdy chassis is an absolute must. And what else does Toyota have up its sleeve? The 2024 Tacoma is getting a frame that's like a mixtape of fully boxed goodness up front and a funky C-shaped open frame underneath the passenger and cargo regions. Talk about a hybrid chassis! This upgrade means you'll enjoy a more efficient towing experience, improved torsion, and a better payload capacity. It's like giving your Tacoma a power boost. But wait, there's more! 
Toyota isn't stopping there. They are also jazzing up the Tacoma suspension. Because, let's face it, my truck-loving amigos, beyond towing and payload, we all want a smooth and comfortable ride, just like those fancy SUVs. And decent handling? You betcha! It all comes down to that suspension game. The 2024 Tacoma is getting a rear suspension makeover, coils. That's right, they're ditching those leaf springs for a more comfortable and handling-friendly coil rear suspension. Prepare to ride like you're floating on a cloud while impressing all the folks on the road with your smooth moves. The 2024 Tacoma isn't just about suspension upgrades, it's bringing the horse to the party too. Say goodbye to the underpowered 2.7-liter i4 engine in the current base model and bid farewell to the 3.5-liter V6 in the other trim levels. We're getting an upgrade, people! Get ready for the 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's a beast that'll have you flexing on the highway with up to 275 horsepower and a torque of 309 to 317 pound-feet. That's some serious oomph under the hood. And here's the kicker. The turbo four-cylinder engine hits peak power at a lower RPM than the V6. It's like having a secret boost button for those pedal-to-the-metal moments. Word on the street is that this bad boy is going hybrid, and we're not talking about your ordinary hybrid. We're talking about turbocharged power combined with not one, but two electric motors. It's like the Tacoma went to the gym and came out as the superhero of pickup trucks. Picture this, the mighty 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine teaming up with those snazzy electric motors, positioned on each axle like they're ready to conquer the world. It's a hybrid powertrain party that would make the Toyota crown proud. With this configuration, we're talking a mind-blowing 340 horsepower and a torque of 400 pound-feet. That's more power than you can shake a stick at. But wait, there's more! With all these upgrades in the chassis, suspension, and engine department, it's only natural to expect some serious towing capacity. The current generation of Tacomas might have fallen a bit short in the towing game, but fear not, dear truck lovers, because the 2024 Tacoma is here to level up. While we can't give you the exact numbers, we are expecting this beast to at least match its rivals. So get ready to tow like a champ. Now, let's take a peek inside the Tacoma's domain. While we don't have all the details, we suspect that the interior will draw inspiration from its big sibling, the Tundra. It's like the Tacoma is taking cues from the coolest older sibling in town. And fear not, my tall friends, because we're hoping for a more spacious back seat in the crew cab. No more feeling cramped like sardines. But that's not all. The infotainment system is getting a major facelift too. Think bigger touchscreen, maybe even a whopping 14.0-inch screen that'll make you feel like you're controlling a spaceship. And of course, all the tech goodies you've come to love, like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. It's like the Tacoma is bringing the future to your fingertips. Now let's talk about the Tacoma's exterior. We're expecting a beefier look with a nod to its predecessors. Think massive features in a layout that's both familiar and fresh. And guess what? It's built on the same TNGAF design as its big brothers, the Forerunner, Sequoia, and Tundra. They're like a family of tough, unstoppable machines. And finally, the burning question. How much will this bad boy cost? Well, the current Tacoma starts at $28,585, but we're anticipating a slight increase. Let's hope for a starting price of around $30,000. It's a small price to pay for all the awesomeness that comes with the 2024 Tacoma. We're hoping to witness the grand debut of the new Tacoma sometime in 2023. That's right, it's coming soon, and it's going to rock your world. Now, let's tackle the electrifying question. Will the new Tacoma be all electric? Tacoma is playing it coy, keeping their lips sealed and leaving us hanging in suspense. But fear not, because we have a hunch. We believe, deep in our truck-loving hearts, that a fully electric option will make its way into one of the trim levels. Can you imagine the sheer awesomeness of an all-electric Tacoma? It's like driving on a cloud made of pure electricity. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of Tacoma. See you in the next one.
Brace yourselves for the ultimate automotive breakthrough, a vehicle so extraordinary that it defies all odds and expectations, a revolutionary hydrogen vehicle. You might have heard of the Mirai, but prepare to be blown away by Toyota's all-new game-changing hydrogen combustion engine. This innovation is set to redefine the very essence of the automotive industry and challenge all the norms. While others follow the beaten path of electricity, Toyota is forging ahead with their cutting-edge technology, poised to shake the foundation of the industry. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because this ride is going to be one for the history books. We all know that our dear planet Earth is in peril, and the transportation industry is like a bad ex, responsible for 15% of the world's carbon emissions. But fear not, for Toyota has come to the rescue with their new, groundbreaking solution, the hydrogen combustion engine. Move over, electric cars, there's a new player in town, and this one's going to blow your mind. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, is the secret ingredient that will save the day. It's non-toxic, exhaust-free, and has the highest energy density ever. Millions of tons of this magic gas are being used as power sources in everything, from buildings to forklifts to trains. And what's the deal with the hydrogen engines? Imagine a world where your car's range knows no bounds and the word recharge is banished from your vocabulary. Behold the hydrogen engine, where fuel cells work their scientific sorcery, transforming hydrogen into electrifying power. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for the most enchanting revelation of all. When your trusty steed zooms down the road, the only byproduct that graces the air is none other than water. Yes, you heard that right. No harmful emissions, just a magical trail of H2O in your wake. And get this, Toyota, the trailblazing trendsetter, started their eco-friendly journey way back in 1997 with the legendary Prius. They were eco-warriors before it was cool, people. But Toyota isn't the only enchanting automaker out there. Car companies from every corner of the globe are joining forces to create the most whimsical green vehicles imaginable. They're harnessing the power of solar energy, electric energy, and hydrogen power to craft these eco-friendly marvels. And that's not all. Hydrogen production is an efficient and cost-effective wonder. Those swanky new hydrogen refueling stations they whip up hydrogen right on the spot using electrolysis and renewable energy. They've just unveiled their latest creation, the Corolla Cross H2 concept, a prototype car with a hydrogen combustion engine. BMW's Hydrogen 7 was like a wild hybrid creature, a traditional gasoline-powered 6.0-liter V12, but with modifications that allowed it to guzzle hydrogen as well as gasoline. It's like a dual-fuel engine, a beast that feeds on both hydrogen and gasoline, like it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And just to make it even cooler, only 100 of these bad boys ever roamed the Earth. They're like the unicorns of the automotive world, but hydrogen-powered cars may not be all rainbows and unicorns. First and foremost, we've got a tiny issue. Hydrogen is highly flammable. So, unless you want your car to turn into a blazing inferno, you might want to think twice before sparking up a match anywhere near it. Processing and storing hydrogen can be a real headache. It's like trying to contain a mischievous genie in a bottle. You need to handle it with extreme caution, or it might just slip away and cause all sorts of chaos. And let's not forget about our dear friend nitrous oxide, the sneaky little pollutant that likes to tag along during the combustion process. Sure, it may not be as villainous as carbon monoxide, but it's still a pollutant according to the EPA. It's like having a not-so-welcome guest crashing your eco-friendly party. But fear not, for Toyota has a grand plan to save the day. They believe there's no single solution to reducing vehicle emissions or meeting customer transport needs. It's like trying to find the perfect pair of shoes for every occasion. So, they're investing in all areas to meet the immense mid-term and long-term needs of the world. And here comes the hero of the story, Hydrogen. It's the shining star of Toyota's Beyond Zero campaign, like the knight in shining armor riding on the back of an H2 molecule. They're determined to make hydrogen an integral part of their grand plan. So, how does this wizardry work, you ask? Feast your eyes on the mighty GR Corolla H2, armed with a turbocharged three-cylinder engine, but with a twist. Instead of guzzling gasoline, it feasts on hydrogen. It's like giving your car a sip of cosmic fuel straight from the heavens. To make this enchantment happen, Toyota equips the GR Corolla H2 with thick, armored fuel tanks. Why, you might wonder? Well, because like we said before, hydrogen is highly flammable, 
and we certainly don't want any fiery mishaps on our journey. They picked up this ingenious technology from their FCEV, the illustrious Mirai, like a spellbook filled with secrets. And here's the cherry on this hydrogen-powered kick. With just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, this car can gallop across the land for up to 300 miles. Powerful, isn't it? But that's not all. The only thing this majestic beast emits is a mere 50 liters of water. Speaking of power, Toyota has partnered with Yamaha Motors to bring you the latest in hydrogen-fueled awesomeness, a V8 engine that spits out a whopping 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. That's right, you can now power your ride with the most abundant element in the universe and leave those measly gasoline guzzlers in the dust. But that's not even the coolest part. The 8 into 1 top mounted exhaust manifold that creates a unique high frequency sound that'll make your ears tingle with joy. Oh, and did we mention that hydrogen powered cars have a longer range and faster refueling times than those electric contraptions? It only takes 90 seconds to juice up the GR Yaris H2. So, not only will you be blazing through the streets with your hydrogen powered engine, but you'll also be saving time at the gas station. Take that, Tesla! And let's not forget about the environmental benefits. Hydrogen fuel cells reduce the need for limited supply materials like lithium and nickel, which are used in EV battery packs. So you can feel good about being a trendsetter while also helping to save the planet. It's a win-win. The Corolla Cross H2 concept car is currently strutting its stuff in real-world evaluation and taking on the ultimate challenge of winter road conditions in northern Japan. Talk about putting this hydrogen wonder to the test. And it seems like the Japanese government is going all in on hydrogen too. They've got big dreams of having a whopping 200,000 fuel cell powered vehicles on the roads by 2025 and a mind boggling 800,000 by 2030. They're even planning to sprinkle more refueling stations across the country just to keep up with the hydrogen frenzy. Get ready to have your ears serenaded by the marvelous sound of Toyota's latest creation. It's so incredible that you'll swear you're listening to a finely tuned gasoline powered beast. Also, thanks to that hydrogen, it emits next to zero CO2, which is a pretty big deal in the eco-conscious world we live in. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, those pesky noxious gases. Don't fret, Toyota's engineers have worked their magic to minimize those suckers. Sure, there may still be a few floating around, but hey. It's a small price to pay for being a tad greener than your average gasoline guzzler. And let's not forget safety, because Toyota takes that stuff seriously. They've gone all out with stronger connecting rods, harder valves and valve seats, and fuel injectors that are all about that gas life. So buckle up, my friend, because you can cruise with the utmost confidence, knowing that Toyota has your back and safety is their numero uno priority. This hydrogen wonder has the power to eradicate one of the biggest woes of electric cars, the dreaded charging process. With hydrogen, you can fill her up in just 90 seconds, just like the good old days of gasoline. And sure, there may not be as many hydrogen outlets as traditional gas stations right now, but fear not, for they shall integrate and live in harmony. In summary, Toyota's hydrogen technology is the bee's knees. It takes just 90 seconds to fill up and fit seamlessly into gas stations, all while using fewer raw materials and being a friend to the environment. So gear up and get ready to embrace the hydrogen revolution. It's time to leave those electric cars in the dust and make way for the hydrogen-powered superstars. The future is fast, furious, and fueled by hydrogen. Thanks for watching. What is your favorite part about this new engine? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Almost every single major automaker on the planet is focusing on battery electric vehicles BEVs. But Toyota is taking a whole different path with a focus on hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, HFC, EVs. Toyota's new CEO, Koji Sato, believes hydrogen is the way forward when it comes to carbon neutrality in the future. In fact, he has so much faith in the technology, he is making big bets that the 16th generation of the Toyota Crown sedan will be a big hit and make some serious waves. The car made its first public outing in FCEV form during the Super Taikyu Fuji 24 hours race in Japan. 
The official market launch of the hydrogen-powered model is scheduled for autumn 2023 alongside the identical-looking hybrid variant. So, is Toyota really about to flip the market upside down and force other automakers to enter a new race in hydrogen fuel cell technology, or is it just all fog and an experiment that is part of Toyota's R&D program? Let's explore some of the details. Toyota has been doing more experiments and exploration with hydrogen than some can handle. Thankfully, Toyota is only experimenting with hydrogen combustion engine cars since they are a nightmare and technically speaking not all that great for the environment due to many reasons that we will discuss in a future video. So, thank you Toyota for not putting any hydrogen combustion engine vehicles on the road. Seriously, keep them in the laboratory. After all, this technology is more fit for the aviation industry and large cargo ships too, but not for ground vehicles. However, we do have to salute Toyota for its endless adventures with hydrogen fuel cells since the technology does have immense potential and is needless to say, one of the top solutions for the range problems that plague BEVs. As you already know, fully battery-powered electric vehicles have a short range, and the batteries are almost always lithium-ion based which are very dirty and unsustainable, expensive, and a fire hazard to be frank. Additionally, BEVs put a lot more pressure on the power grids than you can imagine and since most of the world's electricity is still from fossil fuels such as oil and gas or the endlessly dangerous nuclear sector, BEVs are not all that great yet. Because let's face it, with the millions of BEVs on the road today around the world, there is a crisis brewing on the horizon as more are added every day and are leading power companies to build more and more fossil fuel power plants that emit plenty of CO2. So even though BEVs produce no CO2, their source of power does, and in colossal amounts. Additionally, the amounts of lithium and other crucial materials that go into lithium-ion batteries are quite finite and will be super expensive to mine in less than three decades unless every single battery made since 2015 and on is recycled. But behold... Toyota's obsession with hydrogen hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, HFC, EVs just might be the solution to the brewing crisis in the EBV sector in case you are wondering what HFC EVs are. They are electric vehicles that do not work on batteries. They work on hydrogen fuel cells that produce electricity for the electric motor. The technology is simple and rather clean. Hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The hydrogen reacts with oxygen across an electrochemical cell, similar to a battery, to produce electricity, water, and small amounts of heat. The great news is that hydrogen, which is produced via green means, is already bound to become cheaper than gas at the pump by 2026. There is also something else that I am just itching to tell you about. Right now, there are companies such as the LA-based Aquatic which have developed a technology that involves cleansing our oceans from CO2 and then turning it into a solid material that is easy to dispose of in the ocean itself. This makes the oceans healthier and able to absorb more CO2. The even more great thing about this technology is that the process of cleaning the ocean from CO2 produces hydrogen or rather green hydrogen. As you already know, the world's oceans have absorbed about 30% of all CO2 produced since the beginning of the industrial age, and thus they are colossal CO2 sinks that mitigate climate change. So now, cleansing CO2 out of the oceans means they can absorb more CO2, and at the same time we get cheap green hydrogen to power our spanking new Toyota Crown sedans. That's like hitting four birds with one stone. So, we do believe that Toyota's obsession with hydrogen and related fuel cells is in its place, sound, and an excellent innovation that other automakers should really dive into right away. This is why Toyota's CEO Sato gave an outline of what he aims for two weeks before taking over as Toyota CEO in April 2023. He mentioned the importance of exploring non-BEV solutions. He said, we want to ensure that hydrogen stays a viable option. We need a production and transport supply chain. Nevertheless, Sato is not discounting BEVs. He believes they will also play a crucial role in Toyota's future alongside hybrid and hydrogen vehicles. He is keeping more options open with flexibility. So, 
This is why Toyota has such a strong belief in hydrogen as the most optimal green and sustainable fuel for the automotive industry. Let's now look at Toyota's success in this niche and its upcoming sleek HFC EV crown sedan. When Toyota launched its first HFC EV Mirai in 2014, no one really paid much attention to the car and technology for various reasons such as the fact that hydrogen fuel stations were almost non-existent. Since then the sales exceeded 23,000 units, however, the lack of action and support from governments across the world rendered the concept limited, it simply became a niche and automakers simply did not care, well, except Toyota and a few other small players. However, things could change as Toyota launches its HFC EV Crown sedan and invests more in fueling stations. With an impressive range of 800 kilometers and superior exterior and interior design, the car is definitely bound to make a big buzz and just maybe wake up some giants from their BEV comas. But the fact remains, the fueling infrastructure is simply not there, especially in big markets such as the USA and EU. Even China is not all that much into the technology yet, with only 250 stations serving 1.5 billion people. Japan itself, the mother of Toyota, only boasts 161 stations. Meanwhile, in America, extremely few are present outside of California. In fact, there are 59 stations in California and only one in the rest of America. This is sort of mystifying because one would expect Toyota to possess no less than 1,000 stations in the USA alone. But we are keeping our fingers crossed as the Crown Sedan just might trigger a revolution with stations popping up all over the world. We bet that if Toyota receives a handsome sum of orders once the sedan is launched in the autumn of 2023, it just might begin investing a few billion dollars in fueling stations across top EV markets. Toyota is also not taking any chances. The vehicle will be also available as a plug-in hybrid powertrain version. The new Crown lineup will also have multiple body styles, including a raised sedan body style referred to as the crossover type. Toyota is so optimistic, it is quite certain that hundreds of thousands of its HFC EVs will be sold by 2030. The upcoming Toyota Crown is also quite impressive and sleek. It will be a dynamic combination of elements, the executive styling of a premium sedan, the flowing shape of a sports car, and the elevated cabin of an SUV. A cut above the familiar, Toyota Crown takes the premium sedan category in an entirely new direction. What do you think? Will Toyota's new and future HFC EVs lead to a revolution in the EV industry? Let us know in the comments section, and please do like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you. Moreover fossil fuels, Toyota has a new ride in town. Their latest engine runs entirely on hydrogen, emitting water vapors instead of harmful CO2. It's the perfect solution for anyone who wants to save the planet without sacrificing style. In this video, we'll explore Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell technology and how it's revolutionizing the car industry. Get ready to say goodbye to gas guzzlers and hello to a more sustainable future. Toyota has been around forever and dominate the market because they make cars for every budget and taste. But that's not all. Their engines are top-notch too. Toyota's been in the engine game since the 1930s and now their engines can be found in all sorts of vehicles. And let's talk about their commitment to the environment. Toyota announced the Environmental Challenge 2050, which is all about reducing CO2 emissions. They're investing in electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell technology, and renewable energy sources. And get this, they're even introducing a new engine that runs on hydrogen and emits water vapors instead of carbon dioxide. Talk about going green. But wait, there's more. Toyota's also big on innovation and technology. They were one of the first companies to introduce hybrid cars to the market, and they're still a leader in developing hybrid and electric vehicles. Their hybrid system uses a gasoline engine and an electric motor to power the vehicle, improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. And let's not forget about safety. Many of their models earn top safety ratings, so you can feel secure while cruising down the highway. But where did it all start? It all began in 1934, when they produced the Type A engine. Sure, 
There were some initial difficulties in creating the water jacket's core, but Toyota completed their first prototype engine in September of 1934. The engine was limited to cast parts manufactured in-house, but after redesigning the cylinder head, it exceeded the output of the Chevrolet. And the rest, as they say, is history. Once upon a time, back in 1992, Toyota started exploring the possibility of using fuel cell engines. Fast forward to 2013, the Toyota Motor Show saw the debut of Toyota's first ever hydrogen-powered concept car. With a fuel cell system that could generate more than 100 kilowatts of output power and had a power density of 3 kilowatts per liter, this baby could reach 650 kilometers without emitting any nasty pollutants except for water vapor. How cool is that? Now, let's talk about fuel cell engines. They are the ultimate gadget that can turn hydrogen into electricity using a process called electrolysis. By splitting hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons, fuel cells generate an electric current that can power a vehicle's electric motor. In the best part, fuel cells produce nothing but water and heat, making them super eco-friendly. But even Toyota had to learn from experience, and the 2021 Toyota Mirai was their second attempt at making a fuel cell car. It had better packaging and improved aerodynamics, allowing it to travel further. Unfortunately, the Mirai didn't exactly set the world on fire, and Toyota had to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to make hydrogen power work better. Forget about fuel cells. This time they're using hydrogen as the actual fuel for a good old combustion engine. Yeah, they decided to give their 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine from the GR Yaris and GR Corolla a little makeover. How, you ask? Well, they slapped on a heavy-duty fuel tank to store hydrogen under intense pressure, and voila! They gave birth to the mighty Corolla Crossover H2 concept, a hydrogen internal combustion engine car like no other. Now, let us break it down for you. This baby doesn't work like your ordinary combustion engine. This baby doesn't work like your ordinary combustion engine. Oh no. It's got thick armored fuel tanks because, you know, hydrogen is a super flammable gas. And to tackle that explosive issue, they beefed up the engine with hardened valves, valve seats, and tougher connecting rods and fuel injectors. All these modifications are to ensure that we don't blow up from the highly flammable nature of hydrogen. So, how does it work, you ask? Well, picture this. Hydrogen gas and oxygen have a little party in the combustion chamber. They mix together, get all cozy, and then BAM! Ignition by a spark plug, just like your good old gasoline engine. But wait, there's more. Toyota even teamed up with Yamaha Motor to create a hydrogen-fueled V8 engine that's a beast. It's gonna churn out a mind-blowing 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. And get this, it's gonna have a unique high-frequency sound thanks to its fancy 8 into one top-mounted exhaust manifold. Here's the cool part. Unlike those pesky gasoline engines that spew out all sorts of nasty stuff like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides, this hydrogen combustion engine is a saint. It produces zero emissions. Yep, you heard that right. The only thing coming out of its tailpipe is good old water vapor. So, if you're into saving the planet and all that jazz, this hydrogen-powered wonder is the way to go in the transportation world. And hold on to your hats, because there's another advantage. These hydrogen combustion engines are super duper energy efficient. Hydrogen packs a serious punch in the energy density department, so these engines can convert more of that power into useful energy. Plus, they can be designed with a higher compression ratio, which makes them even more efficient. And you know what that means? They reduce the need for materials like lithium and nickel, which are crucial for those fancy EVs. Toyota's got their hydrogen game on point with this modified hydrogen chugging monster. It's all about zero emissions, energy efficiency, and a touch of Yamaha-powered awesomeness. One big hurdle is the lack of infrastructure for distributing hydrogen fuel. Unlike good old gasoline, hydrogen needs special high-pressure tanks and a fancy fueling system. But guess what? That infrastructure is as rare as a unicorn right now, making it a struggle for hydrogen-powered cars to go mainstream. Oh, we're not done yet. The cost of producing hydrogen fuel is another thorn in our side. Currently, most hydrogen is made from natural gas, which, spoiler alert, is a fossil fuel. So yeah, hydrogen isn't exactly a fully renewable energy source just yet. But fear not, researchers are working their magic to find more sustainable ways of making hydrogen, like using renewable electricity to power the water splitting process. 
We are talking about some serious scientific mojo here. Now, let's talk emissions. Hydrogen can be considered a clean energy source because it spits out water vapor instead of nasty emissions, but it's not all rainbows and butterflies. When hydrogen burns, it can produce these pesky oxides of nitrogen, or NOx for short. But guess what? NOx is a fancy word for pollutants. But hey, if we increase the amount of oxygen, we can reduce the NOx emissions. But here's the catch. Gasoline combustion engines have a leg up in that department. So, if you want equal horsepower, you might need a bigger engine, and that means shelling out more moolah. But hey, researchers are working hard to overcome these obstacles and make hydrogen a true hero in the energy world. Toyota may not be the sole genius behind the hydrogen combustion engines. Way back in the early 2000s, BMW had its own shot at glory with the BMW 7 Series E65. Oh, it was a sight to behold. This beauty ran on hydrogen instead of boring old gasoline or diesel. BMW decided to go all out and produce a whopping 100 units of this experiment on wheels. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. The Hydrogen 7 had not one, but two tanks. Yes, double the tank fun. One tank was reserved for hydrogen, while the other sneaky tank held gasoline. Can't leave those fossil fuels out of the party, right? But let's focus on the star of the show, the hydrogen tank. It was a mighty beast, almost 170 liters in size, and it had a fancy bilayer insulation that kept the hydrogen chilled. And get this, the hydrogen was stored as a liquid, which apparently packs 75% more energy per volume than compressed gas. That's some serious liquid power. But wait, there's more. The hydrogen tank's insulation was under high vacuum, like some intergalactic space contraption. Why, you ask? To keep the pesky heat transfer away from the hydrogen, of course. We don't want our hydrogen getting all hot and bothered. Now, BMW boldly claimed zero emissions for this baby, but oh boy, the EPA had a bone to pick. They weren't convinced. They argued that the engine used in the prototypes was still an internal combustion engine. And guess what? Internal combustion engines need lubrication, which means tiny oil particles could sneak their way into the combustion chamber. Not exactly emissions free, huh? Well, the EPA raining on BMW's parade didn't sit well with them. They were so disappointed that they completely abandoned the project. Talk about throwing in the towel. As we zoom towards a net zero future, fuel cell vehicles will rise to the occasion. It's like a recurring pattern, you know? And with time, those clever engineers might just crack the code and find permanent solutions to the woes of hydrogen combustion engines. Let's hope they can solve the riddles that plague these engines and make them shine brighter than ever. But here's the million dollar question. Is Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine worth it? Let us know what you think about it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Today we are going to be looking at the new flying car that will change the entire electrical vehicle industry. So let's get started. For decades car makers sort of fooled around the flying car concept. The idea of cars flying over buildings, bridges, highways, and cities through unmarked highways up high in the air was, and still is, a dream. However, with as many as 70 million cars added annually everywhere across the globe while urban sprawl getting out of control and traffic congestion choking cities and people, the dream and fiction had to be turned into a reality. However, there was a clash. On one hand, the creation of anything that can fly is technically the business of the aviation industry, while the business of creating cars is the business of the automaker industry. Even governments do not know how to create rules and regulations for flying cars. Big questions remain unanswered. The most basic one is, do I need a small aircraft pilot license to fly my car to work? It is a really messy business because believe it or not, there are quite a few flying car brands out there and you can buy one now, but good luck getting permission to fly it within a city. Toyota, like many other car and plane makers, has developed its own flying car which we are not sure whether to call it a flying car or a small plane because it only flies but does not drive on the roads and it costs about $1.5 million. Anyway, Toyota is quite serious and hence today we will take a journey into the whole flying car phenomenon which is gaining traction quite fast with top banks expecting the industry to be worth more than $1.6 trillion by 2035 which is merely 11 years away, hence big stuff is brewing. 
Let's start by clearing the air. A flying car or taxi, as some like to call them, is not or rather should not be an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, EVTOL. The reasons we say this are many, starting with the fact that cars are for roads and EVTOLs are flying machines. We will discuss this in detail in a bit, so for now, let's focus on what constitutes a flying car. A flying car is simply any car like the one you have in your garage right now, but is also able to fly anywhere between a few to a few hundred meters up in the air due to modifications, and is also a car that drives on wheels on the street like other cars. It also could be a car without wheels and sort of hovers above the road by a few inches and cruises around on roads and streets like other cars, but without wheels. Now such a vehicle would constitute a flying car. It is a car and not a plane like EVTOLs, which needless to say are actually planes with vertical landing and takeoff capabilities. So, just because some automakers teamed up with EVTOL developers, it does not mean that they are making flying cars. Mind you that some did make actual cars that can fly, and we will talk about them in a bit. This may seem strange to you, but it is the future, and it will be based on war between automakers and plane makers such as Boeing and Airbus. We actually think that this war has already started because as we dug for the info to bring you this video, we sort of found most information to be rather confusing. We found automakers launching what can only constitute small light helicopters with visible or hidden routers that are nothing short of delivery drones and calling them flying cars or taxis. And we also found plane makers, covertly and through startups that they own or fund, making what they call EVTOLs that are destined to replace cars, buses, trucks, and even lorries in the future. The bottom line is, both industries are invading each other's space and the war is on. Call them flying cars or EVTOLs, it does not matter. In the end, it is business, and in 100 years tops, wheels will be a thing of the past as all transportation's mods will have the capability to either move while hovering or flying or both. So, for now, we will just settle for sorry, but it's still murky and trillions are at stake. But we can tell you confidently, that as far as we can tell, the auto industry is heading for victory for various reasons. It is their niche, and they are cleaning up their act with BEVs, recycling, hydrogen ices, and other green technologies. Meanwhile, the aviation industry is not anywhere near becoming green and there are no passenger planes in existence at this moment that use any fuels other than the dirty kerosene and its alternatives, which are also dirty. So, the folks in the aviation industry have a lot of work to catch up on before they can go head-to-head -head with the ancient aviation industry. Okay, let's now take a look at what Toyota has been doing over the past few years in the flying car innovation department, then move to compare how it ranks in comparison with others. Toyota was not the first company to get into the flying cars business, in fact, they jumped the wagon to compete with Hyundai which has been testing flying cars since 2017. And as usual, Toyota did want to become the laughingstock of some of the dinosaurs with deep pockets in the industry and satirical media cartoonists, so they allocated a few hundred million dollars and dumped them on the nearest innovator in the EVTOL niche. To their luck, a startup called Joby Aviation was open for business, hungry for cash, and also in need of strong backers to keep them in the game. So, Toyota threw $400 million at them and gave them access to some of their technologies and top engineers. A partnership was created and the results since then have been nothing short of amazing. In 2020, Toyota was no longer worried about image issues and it suddenly announced that air transportation has been a long-term goal. The CEO and president of Toyota even issued this statement as we take up the challenge of air transportation together with Joby, an innovator in the emerging EVTOL space, we tap the potential to revolutionize future transportation and life. Through this new and exciting endeavor, we hope to deliver freedom of movement and enjoyment to customers everywhere, on land, and now, in the sky. This statement caused ripples in the auto sector and the aviation industry too. But needless to say, the day of flying cars littering the skies is still a little too far off for such a bold statement. Mind you that the whole thing was a little too crazy, because in 2020, Toyota was still not embracing fully electric cars, and to this day, it is still focusing on making hybrids and hydrogen combustion engines which it really believes in. 
We made a couple of videos about Toyota's obsession with hydrogen, ICEs, and hydrogen fuel cell EVs, so make sure to check them out. Toyota's aim via Joby was simple. They wanted an all-electric, three or four rotter, five-seater, 200 miles per hour EVTOL with a range of at least 150 miles per charge. It also had to be very quiet, or at least 100 times quieter than helicopters which are extremely loud and one can hear coming from more than a mile away. They also wanted it to be designed like a taxi or for ride-sharing, Uber style. It made a lot of sense, but it was also a response to something big by the Chinese company Xping Era, which is partially owned by the Dubai Investment Authority. Do not get us wrong here, in 2020, Xping was still testing EVTOLs and improving, in 2022, the flying car, Xping X2, which comes as a two- or five-seater, took over Dubai skies. Dubai has even established special stations for these new EVTOLs, which are currently used as air taxis. So if you want to try one, the cheapest way to do it is to head to Dubai. Fast forward to October 2022, Joby Aviation Inc., which is a U.S. registered air taxi startup on Toyota Motors payroll, applied to Japan's Transport Ministry for aircraft certification as it prepared to launch its Urban Transportation Services, or EVTOLs, to be more specific. Mind you that the company received in May of 2022 certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, allowing it to begin commercial air taxi operations with EVTOLs. But like other companies that are backed up by other automakers, the company still has a lot of regulatory hurdles to clear in the United States and Japan among other places before its EVTOL can fly passengers. Their goal is to have their flying cars available to consumers by 2025 at the most which is happening but on a very small scale and for a very limited deep pocket clientele base. Toyota's flying car is called the SkyDrive SD05 which is designed to be the world's smallest electric vehicle that can take off and land from a vertical position. Just last June, the company sold one of these units for the modest sum of $1.5 million to some Japanese billionaire. Needless to say, the SkyDrive SD05 flying car looks nothing like what George Jetson flew around Orbit City in the 1960s when the futuristic Hanna-Barber cartoon first aired. SD-05 is a two-passenger EVTOL multi-copter aircraft. It has an estimated maximum cruise speed of 100 kilometers, 12 propellers, and 12 electric motors on an overhead boom assembly. It has a back-to-back -back modified V-boom configuration with the rear V-boom having a slight wing-type structure. At each end of the booms is a cross-boom and each propeller is at the ends of each cross-boom. The booms are located at the top of the fuselage. One of the challenges Toyota and others experimenting with EVTOLs are facing is the battery size, capacity, and weight. The reason for this is that as much as the developers brag about how flying cars are for inner city travel, the fact and truth is 90% of all clients interested in or are capable of buying one want long range on one charge and speed to be able to reach their various properties, businesses, and work as fast as possible. These folks tend to live in mansions and villas quite far from their offices. Their luxury dungeons are often in the countryside within exclusive areas. Many of them want to be able to go to work or a meeting somewhere as far as 200 kilometers in as little as one hour and return safely on one charge. And maybe take a detour here and there to show off their new toy to their friends. They also do not mind paying a few million dollars to have one or two flying cars with such features parked in their garage. Klein Vision Aircar Engineered by BMW, Klein Vision Aircar was given an official certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak Transport Authority. This sleek-looking vehicle can transform from a car into a plane in less than three minutes. With retractable wings and folding tail surfaces, Aircar can function on both the road and in the sky. It comes equipped with a 160-horsepower BMW engine. It uses a propeller for propulsion and is equipped with a ballistic parachute for greater safety. The air car has more than 70 hours of flight time behind it, during which it was subject to toe demanding tests that include turns at an angle of 45 degrees and other elements of flight. The prototype 1 flew at an altitude of 2,500 meters and reached a speed of 190 kilometers per hour. 
The BMW engine Renault Air 4 has had an official certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak Transport Authority since 2022. The Air 4 body is similar to the original 1961 car, but it's made entirely from carbon fiber. With no doors, users lift up the carbon fiber shell at the rear to get inside the utilitarian cabin. The PAL V Liberty is a combination of a three-wheeled car and an autogyro, or gyroplane, under development by PAL V of the Netherlands. Both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license are required to operate the two-seater flying car. We really like this one because it is both a car and a plane, hence a real flying car. But it is powered by a combustion engine rather than an electrical engine. On the road, it can hit the speed of 170 km per hour and travel up to 1,300 km on a tank of the green fuel types of Euro 95 or Euro 98, or E10. When it takes to the skies via its heli-like foldable rudder, it can cruise at a speed of up to 180 km per hour, up to 3,500 meters high, kind of crazy, and it has a range of up to 500 km. This babe has been road legal in Holland since March 2022. It even comes in a sports version for about $750,000. Let us know what you think in the comments section and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.